Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm playing against uh, National Master Tyrell. I've played him about uh, 25 games ago. Of House Tyrell, as I said back then. It was just before the final chapter of Game of Thrones or something. Season 6. Okay, he's playing the Stonewall. In reversed colors. I believe this is Jamaica, yeah. So this time I won't make fun of this uh, very nice name, but uh, let's just to try to play. Uh, let's call it uh, precisely against the stone wall. So I'll introduce one of the main plans that Avoch recommended in his book for white actually. But let's see what happens if I do it with the tempo down. Queen c7. Then I follow with rook b8, b5 and b4. Normally a4 is a good try to prevent it, or this, but uh, if I'm not wrong, b5 is still possible somehow. He takes knight e5, bishop g4, oh, but he has knight f3, so when the knight is on b1, b5 might still be possible, but not anymore, so let's go a6. See what happens or bishop f5 actually okay bishop f5 just develop yeah so we get the normal position uh where it takes i take with the pawn he's hoping to attack on the king side i'm hoping to have more space which i already kind of do but his knight is a bit annoying here. So it's a very complex middle game position. Excuse me. And uh, yeah, neither side can, side can complain. B4 looks like a good positional move. Uh, I've seen it in the other move order. And I'll take on C6. And now I have several options. I need to stop and think. B takes e3 looks interesting, oh, but he can take my rook, so not so interesting anymore. So normally speaking, queen c3 is somewhat principled, oh, but I'm never sure how to evaluate it. Rook b1, also knight b3. Looks like I'm trying to trap my own queen. Bishop b2 is another idea for him. Let's just go queen c2. I'm preventing bishop b2 and knight b3 ideas and uh, preparing rook fc8, which uh, might help me take over the, the c file, which is probably the most important factor in this position. Um, assuming he doesn't get any huge attack on the king side, so the c file, if it's mine, it's gonna grant me a big advantage. And one of the reasons, by the way, is that the position is relatively symmetrical. And uh, an important thing to note is that when a position is symmetrical and one person has an edge, for example, the open file, um, it's usually quite big because uh, there, there is less chance for counterplay. Although here I have to attest that uh, I missed the fact that he has knight to c5 ideas, but I feel like I can I can uh, use tactics. If he goes knight c5, I can take on e2 and take twice on c5 to, to win a pawn. So, if he. So, let's just assume for the moment there were no knights in the position. Mm, then black would be much better. With no counterplay almost. Okay, now rook c4. Something I'd like to get in. To attack this pawn on b4. If he takes, I have tempo on the bishop. I have some knight f2, knight d3 ideas as well, uh, which I actually have to. I didn't notice before. Oh, he wants to get knight c6 in. That's actually quite smart. Alright, I didn't see it. Can I get this one? Yeah, sacrificing is not very smart, as far as I can tell. Let's just go back all the way. 
This knight on a5 is farther from c5, so it's less annoying for the moment. I feel like my position is better. Okay, rook pc8 might be an idea. Knight f2, knight d3 is another idea, which he allows. Yeah. So I'll try to see how he deals with it. Now both, like, actually the pawn is hanging too, so the rook, the bishop and the pawn are hanging. He cannot move the rook because the queen is hanging, so he should probably take, but he is gonna suffer some, some loss of material. So this is quite overwhelming as far as I can tell. At least an exchange is lost. We are, if we win this game, we get uh, one step closer to 2500. We've been on the hunt for 2500 for a really long time. And uh, I can't really explain why it's so difficult for me to gain rating while uh, commentating. Because uh, I mean, people won't believe me when I say that uh, my usual rating was around 2700 in 5 minutes. So knight takes b2 looks logical enough i don't see why not to play it knight c4 well he's trying to get some counterplay but i don't think it's, it amounts for a really lot for a, for a whole lot um okay i think knight e3 is quite good d4 and g2 are hanging this position is about to collapse completely my g4 check is quite a threat might be at least um, he's giving the exchange okay, yeah. this is too much why would you continue with so much material down this is just uh, lost yeah Okay, so we'll take the easy way. Um, yeah, let's just take the lazy way to the win. Now rook a3, grabbing this knight. He wants to continue till the mate. So. This is over. Well, I agree you should fight in certain positions, but what? after it's some point it's a bit too much. So, yeah, let's uh, go through the game. Um, D4, uh, so he plays this. It's called the Kole system, as far as I remember. And I haven't seen many people try to play it with the idea to follow with the stone wall actually. Most of them just go knight f3 in castles and pretend they play the slav reverse colors. But uh, yeah, f4 is interesting. And uh, g6 is one of the main attempts to play against it. So strategically we got the same position more or less and the tempo didn't make too much of a difference. It feels like up until here it's more or less okay for both of us, but uh, yeah, black is better. So I'm, I'm pretending to be white once again, because I have the open file. And queen a4 is a very nice uh, typical move here, which I missed. Inducing a3 and then the knight won't have the b3 square. Yeah, now I allow knight b3, but fortunately I have this tactic to grab twice on c5, which he should play nevertheless. For some reason the computer doesn't even want to grab the pawn. I really wonder why. Takes, takes, knight c5. Yeah, now it does. Okay. So instead, bishop b2. Now knight f2, knight d3 immediately was really strong. I missed it. But fortunately here, instead of rook c1 and continuing the struggle, he allowed it. And uh, 
now gave up a piece after taking a rook b1. Yeah, bishop c1 is a difficult move to make. And even knight b4, I would have taken here probably and tried to win with an exchange out. But this knight on c5 might give some chances. So probably taking on b4 is the smart way to play. And going back to d3 later. Yeah. After allowing me to take a full piece, I don't think there's anything uh, to see. So thank you for watching uh, this game. I hope you learned something from it and uh, enjoyed uh, uh, the process of uh, seeing me playing against the Stonewall. And uh, if you want to learn some more, then uh, keep watching the next videos.